In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a histogram with overlapping distributions. Now, the example is based on two groups, but it could be expanded to three or more groups. Uh, in this example data file, I've got height as a continuously scored variable, and I've got gender as my grouping variable, male, female. And then the first, the first way I'm going to demonstrate how to do this, which is the easiest way, uh, the data are set up in this way, and in the second way, the two groups are going to be uh, present, uh, represented in the SPSS data editor as two separate variables. So ignore this for now. I'm only going to use these two for the first basic method. So click on graphs, click on chart builder, and then you want to use the histogram option here. And you can double, uh, you can just drag a histogram into the uh, chart preview, and then we want to put height as the x-axis variable and then you want to click on groups and points and click on grouping stacking variable and that's where I'm going to put the gender variable which is the grouping variable and I'm going to put that like that. Now I click on OK and here is an overlapping chart that I think um, a lot of people would probably be satisfied where it's all on the same uh, x-axis and y-axis which is different to the other histogram I did earlier with um, independent uh, two variables uh, loaded up on a double axis. But this is an overlapping histogram. And I think one of the problems with this uh, approach is that uh, it doesn't look quite good. It looks okay. And what I would recommend that you do, if you did, this, uh, did it this way, is paste the syntax that you would pr produce by doing that analysis. And it would be this. This is the syntax you would get by clicking paste. I'll show you uh, if I were to go into graphs, chart builder, and paste, I would get this syntax here, which is exactly the same as the syntax here. And the main element I want to uh, guide your attention to is the last line here, element. And what I have a problem with in terms of this uh, presentation of the data and an overlapping histogram is that the, the colors are too contrasting. And what I did is I added a line to the syntax uh, such that, let me push this a little, a little bit to the left, so that on this last line at the end, instead of ending with shape interior shape square, I've added this piece of uh, syntax which is transparency dot interior open brackets transparency dot comma 0 0.5 uh, quotation marks rather and then three uh, parentheses. This addition to the syntax, it's the only difference, will help make the colors look a bit better. So if I highlight that, I, I don't think you can do that in the menu option or by double clicking on the on chart, at least I didn't find it. I uh, click on Run and Selection, and you get something that looks like this instead of this hard contrasting color. You get something that looks, I think, a little bit better. If you get rid of the the gray background and the border, it will pop a little bit more. Uh, so that's something that I would probably present over something like this. So this is the, I would say, this is the easy way of creating an overlapping histogram in SPSS that allows you to compare uh, variables on the same scale, measured on the same scale, literally on the same x-axis. There is another way to do this uh, that is a little bit different in terms of transparency between the histograms. And again, I think you could only do that in syntax, but it's very, very similar syntax to uh, this uh, section here, or even the first section that I did. So what I've done for this a little bit more uh, advanced syntax, just very basically, much more, you know, very s small advancement, is I've added two variables, height male and height female. So instead of just height and gender, which are the variables when you do it through the graphical user interface, I've got height male and height female. And that makes sense because I've actually got two variables that are called height male and height female. And I literally just copied and pasted the, the data associated with the, 
uh, with the first category. So I just copied that, and then I pasted it up here. And then I did that the same thing for the female data. So I just copied this category, and I created another variable called height female. And then I had to create two data uh, references. So data height male and data height female. So in comparison to the uh, first way, which is height and continuously scored, and data gender, which is categorical, I've now got two continuously scored variables, date height, data height male and data height female. And you got to make sure that you have your name here correct, height male and height female. And then I've got, this is pretty much the same. And then I've got two elements. And uh, again, I've got height male here and height female. And I've got transparency references here so that uh, that it looks as good as possible in terms of the overlapping distribution. So this is actually going to look different than the method I just used previously. So let's actually run that and see what it looks like. Run selection, and this is what you get, where instead of one kind of sitting on top of each other, and you kind of have to infer that there, there are data points here, this one actually has a slightly different color code for the overlapping portion of the distribution. And you can manipulate uh, the colors that you want. I've, used, I've chosen green and blue, and just based on a few minutes of experimentation, it looks like a good combination, green and blue. And the transparency level is 0.6. So the higher the number here, if, I, if it were 0.9, it would be even more transparent. I've got them both on this side of transparent, so 0.8 and 0.6. You can manipulate that and check it out and see how much of a difference it makes uh, in terms of your visual appeal, and maybe you'll choose different colors. But these are, this is basically two ways to do a overlapping histogram in SPSS uh, and manipulating the transparency levels. I have noticed that this has a big gap here in comparison to the other distribution, and I, I don't know if it's because of the binning rights that SPSS is using. Uh, that's slightly different. You can manipulate that. Uh, I didn't have a lot of success uh, changing the binning, so you can click on custom and change the numbers here, and that will change the look of how much uh, of what the distribution kind of looks like. I didn't have a lot of success to make it look better, uh, but it is accurate. That is the mean for uh, the males, and this is the mean for the females, and you don't know the, the color, but you just know that the mean of 162 would be associated with the lower one and this one's higher. At least with this one here, you actually get the legend associated with the, with the chart. So those are two ways to do an overlapping histogram. I think it, they pretty much all of them look pretty good, uh, and you might have preferences yourself. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll catch you next time.